how have you uh, embraced your role as a serving specialist for this team? Um, I'm super excited about it. I've never been a serving specialist before, but I think it's super interesting because on this team, there's a lot of competitive roles, and for a serving specialist to be a competitive role, I think is really cool, and that's what makes our team special. So. John said, I mean, you've been working on your serving I mean, last year, a few mistakes piled up. What have you done to improve to put yourself in this position? Um, I actually kind of changed my serve. It's like different footwork, different arm work, so um, it's completely new, I would say, but I mean, a serve is still a serve. Um, but I also think just working on like the mental aspects of serving is super important because it's just you and the ball so um, you can get in your head a little bit about that so um, just changing up the routine and also changing up like technically what I'm doing. As a setter yourself, I mean what have you seen from Berg and Riley just coming in as a freshman and what she's been able to accomplish so far? Yeah, I think Berg is a super special setter because, I mean, first of all, her hands are great and she's super great technically, but she's also so composed, especially for being a freshman. I think it's really easy to get caught up in leading an offense and um, just trying to like lead the team in general as a setter has to do. I think that Bergen is um, very integral to how our team keeps their cool, especially in like tough moments. So I think that's super powerful and yeah, she's really talented. How did you feel stepping back on the floor for that home game last week? Um, I was really excited. Felt like a deer in the headlights for the first serve a little bit, but um, yeah, it felt good. Did you have to readjust to just like the atmosphere at, at, in Devaney? Um, yeah, I think just for the, the first serve I did a little bit, but you got to get going. You got to always be ready. We talked about that. So, Was that an idea that the coaches brought to you to contribute in this role? Or was that something that you wanted to help out in any way you could? Um, do you mean just being a service? Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. Um, not exactly. I think it's more just like practicing and getting good at it. Um, Coach talks about how important serving and passing is all the time, so you can't really let up on serving. I mean, I don't pass, so I really got to hone in on serving and just doing the basics right. Um, I don't think it was something they really brought up. I think it was like, hey, like if you if you want to go in and play, um, get good at serving. So yeah. <laughs> When did you find out, I mean, the first time that you went to serve, did you find out that day that you are going to, or was it just kind of spur of the moment, or like, hey, Kennedy, hear it? Um, we had talked about it a little bit, but it wasn't really set in stone until the game, so I think Coach is just really good about always keeping us ready on every single person on the team. We call, we don't really have a bench for more game changers, and um, before every game, he's like, game changers, you got to be ready to go no matter what. It's not just, like, you're going to be on this bench, you're going to be on the bench this game, you never know what's going to happen, so. Do you have to change your men mentality up? Because as a setter, you're not going out for that first touch, but <laughs> when you're coming in to serve, you got like five digs, I think. I mean, do you, do you have to change your mentality when you're in the back row? Um, no, I don't know. I guess I don't really think about it. I just go and serve and play defense. I think um, so those are the two roles, <laughs> roles at that point in time, so. What do you enjoy about playing defense? I love defense. Um, I always have. I think I grew up on a team in like club in high school that defense was number one priority, and obviously it's here too. We're a great defensive team, so um, I've always just kind of prioritized it and found it super fun. Kennedy, from the team's perspective, how good are you guys feeling yeah. after beating Stanford, and you're still undefeated with one uh, match left in non-conference play? Um, we're feeling really good, but we haven't gone to the Big Ten yet, best conference. So, you know, just got to keep working hard every day, chipping away. So. The team hit almost 700 in the second set. What's it like oh, wow. yeah, for the players when you guys are grooving that well? Um, I think we talk about calling that like a flow state, and in flow states you don't really like think about things like that. It's like, oh, I, I had no clue that we hit 700. It's just kind of like you keep going until you get to the finish line. You know, with accomplishments like selling out Memorial Stadium, being Stanford on the road, What's good, what's, what more does this team have to do to drop that young team moniker that people keep giving you guys? Um, I don't know if it'll ever get dropped. I think people well, always like to use it. it as like an underdog type of thing. Um, and I think it's good to be a young team too because, you know, there's not a lot of um, like past experiences put on us. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing either. But um, yeah, I don't know if it'll ever get dropped. During the preseason, you guys talked a lot about just embracing being young and not having as much expectations. Do you feel like you've guys been playing like that, just free without those expectations? Um, I completely think so. I think this team does a really good job at staying in the moment and completing the task at hand and what's given to us. Um, we don't really talk about being young or our ages, and I don't think anyone really feels that way either. So it's less of not trying to think about it and more of just like we don't think about it at all, if that makes sense. 
Have you ever been on the receiving end of a Becca Alec uh, psych session? Or Say that again? Have you ever been on the receiving end of a Becca Alec kind of pump-up session? Oh, or? always. Um, she gets everyone pumped up. I think it's a really good thing. Um, during Red White, even like in the huddles, she'll say some fun stuff to pump you up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Becca's crazy, but in the best way possible. Thanks,